Hey, welcome to Video Test Drive. I'm Ron Posey. Today we've got the uh, Chrysler Crossfire. I really like this car. Now, you may have seen the Crossfire in the other editions with the coupe, but this is the Crossfire Limited Edition Roadster, and it just got great lines. From the, uh, the grooves in the hood to the side vents, to the, the, the big wheels. We have 19 inch wheels in the back, 18 inch in the, back, in the front, plus the, uh, the roll bars back here. This is really an exciting car to drive, fun to drive. This has a, a V6, it's got a 90 degree uh, V6 in it. It's um, 3.2 liter, uh, 215 horsepower. It really gets up and goes, handles nice. Now it's not like a Porsche Boxster or something like that, but it really does handle nice. And uh, it's been a real pleasure to drive. We took this on a couple trips already. And um, this thing is loaded. It's got the Infinity uh, sound system, six speakers. Also has a GPS, uh, which is kind of amazing for the amount of crap space. Now, this is Daimler Chrysler, and this is one of their first uh, automobiles. It's basically a 50-50. This is on a Mercedes SLK chassis, and about 50% of the parts are from Mercedes. And you can see that in some of the controls, um, the light switches, speed control, air vents, and things are definitely out of uh, Mercedes. So um, let's take it once around the block. Now, as we talked about, Half of the parts uh, for the uh, Crossfire are Mercedes, and uh, which is very evident in these toggle switches here, also in the air conditioning vents, the uh, controls for the uh, uh, speed control. You get, a, and I, I've driven a lot of Mercedes, so you really do have a lot of commonality here with the Mercedes cockpit. The um, it's a very stiff car. A lot of times, of course, you get in the convertibles, you get the little bit of that uh, that flex. But uh, this is a very rigid car, and it just feels real good with the top down and as a convertible. The um, transmission is a, uh, in this particular model, is a six-speed uh, manual. And uh, the only thing is it has this real shiny uh, gear shift knob, which is kind of slippery. It's almost like you need uh, the leather wrap. I don't quite understand this concept, although it looks great, but I think I'd rather have a, a leather wrap on the thing. It's got plenty of power, a lot of pickup, and there's not a lot of wind uh, with the top down. You don't get a lot of uh, side uh, eddy currents from the wind coming in. I like that. Uh, I think the other thing I wish that it had, I wish it had a little bit more of a signature uh, exhaust system. Um, it's really quiet for uh, a Roadster uh, like this. You almost wish uh, you had a little bit more uh, muffler sound to it. At least I do. And this is uh, kind of the entry level, probably be the bottom part of the, uh, the luxury segment Roadster. So they're probably targeted for a baby boomer, uh, possibly empty nester that will go out and splurge and, and uh, buy a two seat Roadster. Uh, the uh, price of the, of the uh, Crossfire is around $40,000, which is sort of at the uh, very bottom end of the uh, luxury roaster um, segment. But there's, you can't beat this car for uh, styling around town. We're going to uh, cycle the uh, roof on because everybody always asks me about that. It's a 22 second uh, cycle for the roof and it's got the hard shell tonneau cover which is great. I've never tried to put a leather tonneau cover on any of the sports cars but it's a real pain and this is so nice. Now you still have to do the last segment here with a pull down and clamp but after it completely cycles you get a uh, little bell there and then you just reach up pull this down and locks in and that's all there is to it so um, very minimal effort in putting the top up and down which uh, is, is really nice and I think the soft top I really like the looks of the soft top as compared to the uh, the coupe version of the Crossfire 
Now, surprisingly, it has quite a bit of trunk space to it, the Crossfire. Now, the opening's pretty small, so it'd have to have small luggage or an ice chest, but it has a partition. Now, this kind of protects the area that the uh, soft top would go in. So, by just pushing this down and then pushing it forward, we have all this trunk space. And as long as the top's up, there's quite a bit. Now, as long as you're underneath, you can put some of the bags underneath here, get quite a few, a bit of stuff in there. Then all you do is reach in and pull the top back. And as long as the top can go in and latch, that, that triggers the safety that there's room for the soft top to come back for storage. So you, there's a lot of storage underneath. So it's kind of surprising because I've been into other convertibles where you just don't have any space at all. And uh, very impressed with the utility that the uh, trunk has in the Crossfire. For Video Test Drive, I'm Ron Posey.